Hi Cubs! I know it's been a long time since our last Did You Watch video, but I am really excited to be able to talk about the market again because I feel like it's such an exciting time to be able to speak about this and what's happening in terms of the trends. Um, I hope you guys like this videos and if you do, please like, comment, subscribe if you can. I'm really trying to push for YouTube partner now that it's a bit more viable for me. All right, let's go into the market watch. Now, Hades Force is probably the most expensive card. It is a June tournament season over here in Oceana and it is going down quite a bit. I kind of feel like, and maybe this is just my poor perception or I don't know, I kind of feel like people could wait for these cards to go down a bit because guaranteed right after the um, tournament session is done with most store championships, it will go way down. I think it'll go actually lower than this. So don't let the hype get you. And the same goes for the chaos degradation. As you can see, there was already like a very big high and then it went up and then it's just plummeting. So I wouldn't recommend to be able to touch these cards. Let's talk about the guy that everyone is talking about right now. The man of the hour, Shine Greymon. Shine Greymon, I think is probably one of the most expensive alt arts besides Beelzebon or Beelzebon's the most expensive. Uh, everyone knows how much support it's going to be getting, but no one will actually know when this card gets hit. So the most proper play, I would say, for anyone that might own a few alt arts with one, anyone who bought a case for this set is to keep them. You need to keep them and aim for BT13 hype because I'm pretty sure that's when this card is going to be at its highest. Let's talk a bit about Marae. Now, it has been interesting with the BT14 reveals that's been happening on Twitter. Everyone's been so hyped. Everyone's thinking about how Mind League is happening, but everyone has also seen how powerful angels get in the upcoming set. So for instance, we have the Angemon Secret Rare, we have the Padamon that complements this deck really well, and we also have a Shine Greymon Ruin Mode coming up in EX4 this month, which has been a very interesting thing. So Marae has actually gone a lot cheaper than what she was. She was like $38, she plummeted down to a point but as you can see, there's a bit of a rise now because people are speculating that they want not just a waifu tax card, but also just they're speculating that Mastermon will be very powerful in BT14. And as a Mastermon player, I kind of think this is slightly accurate. So that's Moraine. And just to keep an eye out on for some Mastermon cards. Next up is Beelzemon. Um, you can see that this card did take a hit. I feel like right after um, the announcement of the restriction for the Impmon, I don't necessarily think that Beelzemon is a tier 0 deck, it was definitely tier 1. It's just a bit slower now, but it doesn't mean you can't really like try and trigger a few things, especially for Ultimate Cups, it's still pretty good. Uh, 307 is what it was listed, but it was actually for much lower, there was like listings even for $229, so everyone's kind of easing off the Beelzemon hype. If you have one of these, I do recommend probably selling it now just because it's quite a high price and it might just go lower with new Shine Greymon support and everything else that's coming in BT13. Let's talk about Mirage. Now, everyone does focus on Shine Greymon, but they forget that Mirage will be very busted as well. Uh, a friend of mine was very smart and had bought a case of BT11 and was mostly aiming for Mirage stuff. And now he's practically sitting on a gold mine because yes, Mirage is going down now, but as soon as BT13 hits, he is going to have a lot of these. So please do save these cards. It's not a really good deck now, but I do recommend saving them just because you don't know what price point it'll actually hit. The most this card has gotten is $25, but I expect it to be at least $30 or $35 when BT13 hits. Same with this guy, Thomas H. Nordism. He was like a couple of cents before him. Uh, well, a couple of dollars. And now he's just going up for some reason. It's because people are speculating that he could be used in Mirage. There is a new Thomas coming in and he is much better. But I think people are just hoping to have some of these. So if you look into your bulk, you have to have BT4, BT4 box toppers is better. I know now with June sales, BT4 boxes are like 50 bucks. So you might be able to get in some hype, get some few cards in and just sell them home. I doubt that BT14 will have a lot for people, but uh, I think it's worth getting in case you can get your box back for it. Omnimon Zord Defeat. Now, when it comes to Zord Defeat, everyone is speculating about trying to hopefully get the Ghost Rare. So a lot of people are going to be buying cases. But I feel like now the alt art is a lot cheaper than what it used to be. 
and it might be better to even just cop this as it is now um i think the prices will definitely get lower though if you have a copy of these definitely sell it right now don't wait up for it to go lower and if you want to buy them just wait just wait a little bit gotta practice that patience magnumon alt art so the interesting thing is magnumon x is probably uh less is cheaper in terms of the alt art than magnumon magnumon's harder to find bt8 is a bit harder to find now because i think now they are slowing down the printing it's probably stopped printing by now and i feel like it's getting harder to get so that's why the prices are going up if you can find a bt8 box definitely just try and buy it maybe you can find some gold to sell it but if you're looking to buy this card better bit now i think it's only just gone up though because of the gold vidramon that's coming up in this set but it's still a really hard card to get and if you have them i recommend selling them gamma mon not many people talking about the uh, resurgence set i think they should or if you have any of these cards don't sell them now you would rather for the gamma mon hype to come up and these are promo cards so they'll be harder to find hopefully when you know bt um not bt 13 <laughs> the research the resurgence set comes out in september i believe for most of the world so definitely just wait for it um, keep these cards really handy. Don't try to sell them like a lot of people my locus did just recently or even not sell them. Just trade them uh, because it's going to go up. It's going to go up really high. Death X Mon. Death X is still used in prevalent in a lot of decks, but it has gone really low now. It has gone down the alt art. I think it's a good time to buy. I'm going to be that person. And people are even buying it for cheaper than what it was. So if you can get a mate that really likes you and uh, has Death X alt arts to spare, which is ridiculous, but you never know. I think it's worth getting. Luzumon Chaos Mode. This card was very high on reveal, but now it's gone down to $38. And I think it's a really good time to sell or buy. I was waiting for it to go down with a mate of mine and um, so I could buy all his off of him. And yeah, now it's a bit cheaper. I think it's really worth getting. It's still a really good staple card. And in terms of the support for Lord Nightmon, it's probably good to get it. Gallimon Crimson Mode. A lot of people, <laughs> I, I don't want to say this in a bad way, but I feel like a lot of people have given up in terms of Gallimon getting better, but he does get a lot better in BT13. And I think it's worth actually investing in getting this card while it's still a bit cheaper. $37 is really good. I know a friend that did the alt art and got it for $70. So I think it's better if you can get it while you can. There's some listings that were low as $29. Absolutely ridiculous. It was really, really good. So try and get in on it. I know that right now he might not be the best, but I think it only will be a matter of time before he is because main character Digimon, it's going to get a lot of support in the future. If it's not good now, it'll be good in the future. The last one I want to talk about is Metal Greymon Alternate Art. Everyone has slept <laughs> on Blue Flare for a long time. And I think now EX4 is really it's time to be closer to Tier 1. I'm actually trying to create a tier list video for it. I, I think it's definitely going to be at the very least 1.5. It's just getting so much support. Uh, the Kuzuha Blue Flare is probably the best way to go. I don't know about the Dark Knight Mall one, but we're here to see it. And I think it would be better to get some of these now. And if you have them, just to keep them for the EX4 hype, because a lot of people are going to be buying them. Guys, thank you for checking out this DigiWatch. I'll be back with another video soon, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!